fight week here for the media workout. Devin Haney, how you feeling? Just a few days away from another title defense. Uh, this time it is against Jojo Diaz here at the uh, MGM Grand Garden Arena. How you feeling, champ? Uh, I'm feeling great. Um, I'm happy that uh, fight week is here. Um, I'm feeling ready, feeling strong, I'm happy. Um, everything is, is going well. It's, the time has come now. Devin, you, you've made it a point leading up to this fight to not look past Diaz, to not look ahead to potential big fights, you know, especially after what happened last Saturday with Cambosis Lopez. Did you feel reinforced with that, you know, like? Um, I mean, that's just boxing at the mm -hmm. end, and I, I understood that. Going into the fight, I never said that, oh, T.O. was going to knock him out or nothing like that. I knew that Cambosis was coming in hungry, um, and I knew that T.O. didn't even, he didn't look as focused as I said before. I think I did an interview too when yeah, I said that. You said it, yeah. So, um, I mean, it's, it's boxing, I, and I know these things, so that's why I will never take no opponent lightly. I will always prepare 100% and be 100% focused on that. And even though, you know, I can't not think about, about how much is at stake, but it drives me. It's, 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 it's motivation for me. Was that was that a case of a a more talented fighter underestimating his opponent and helping to beat himself, or is Cambosis just better than we all thought, or both? You know? Yeah, I just I just think that um. Cambosos is just better than what everybody thought. You know, he went in there and he, he, he was hungry. Sometimes, you know, a guy can have more skills or whatever the case may be, but when a guy comes in hungrier and wanting it more, um, it shows what can happen, uh, which it's not always the case. Sometimes like, a guy can be hungry, um, like Jojo Diaz, and uh, a guy like with, with much more skills like me goes in there and beats him, but I'm also hungry as well. So uh, it's just, that's why I'm just going to be too much for him. Do you is, this like the best, him? is this the best camp you ever had? Yeah, honestly, I really think that this is the best camp that I ever had. Uh, I think, like, I just feel so strong. Uh, I feel fast. I just feel so sharp this camp. I don't know what it is, where it came from, but I don't know. Maybe just because I understand that it's a lot at stake. Yeah, do you, do you feel like with him losing, it only puts the spotlight on you even more as a chance to jump out to the top? Yeah, um, like I said, it's a lot at stake. You know, the winner, the winner of this fight will go on to fight for Undisputed, I feel like, uh, which will be me. But, um, so, you know, I'm, I'm just like thriving off of that. That's just motivating me even more. It's giving me the extra push that I need, and um, I'm ready. You, you said, you said. Ask, I have to ask, uh, George Cambosis the next morning said he would have no problem facing you at all. He just said, I've been on the road to get to, to where I'm at now. He's like, if, if Devin wants Undisputed, he would have to come see me in Australia. He said that would be a stadium fight, 60, 70,000. Your thoughts on, on that, and you know, would you be willing for, you know, to do that if it if it makes sense financially? Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, that's the type of that's the type of fight that you will travel for. You know, when it's when it's for undisputed it's for all the belts, he has majority of them. Um, of course, you know, uh, if, if I have to get on the road, then I will. But you know, obviously, everything has to make sense on both ends, and. Uh, of course, I, that, that's a huge fight to get on the road for it. Yeah, okay. so it can happen in Australia. I saw Mauricio Suleiman the next day posting the, and the new undisputed champion on the WBC's official uh, Instagram and Twitter. What's your thoughts on that? Um, you know, we, we can say what we want to say. Um, it's, it's all a debate. Uh, it can't be undisputed if it's disputed at the end of the day. And um, I feel like when, when we fight, me versus Cambosi for all the belts. I think we should drop the franchise, franchise title, franchise, whatever it is. I'm not, I'm not open to fighting for the franchise belt. You know, I want to keep it the WBC champion. When I win all the belts, I'm gonna say as say, say as a WBC champion. I'm not really looking to uh, to bump, move, bump up the franchise or anything. We could drop that tag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, how, how happy you are? So, because it seems like you've been going through this for months. The T.O. questions, the line, the back and forth. Bro, you see the frustration of you and your dad. Yeah. How, how happy you all that, that that hurdle is over with? You got a new person that you can just say, look, me and you can get down. Yeah, um, I wouldn't say that I'm necessarily happy because, you know, it goes, it go, it's going on again, you know, with the undisputed situation. The, the world still doesn't know who's the real WBC champion or whatever the case may be so I'm not I'm not I can't say that I'm happy about it but I can say that I do feel like we're getting closer to getting get get into the bottom of it 
You feel he'll be quick. more willing than the other guys have been. Yeah, yeah. I, I Why think is that, that? Kembo's is – I don't know. It's just something about him. I just feel like he's not ducking or dodging nobody. You know, I, I give him his respect. He, he, he wants to fight the best fighters. And, um, yeah. They've been everyone's been – Everyone have had personal conversations, you and Kembo's? Yeah, yeah. Me and Kembo's have had – Before the fight, we were talking. You know, um, I just was – We were just – Chopping it up, nothing major. You know, he was just basically telling me good luck on my fight. I was telling him good luck. We, we, uh, we're gonna meet up after, and uh, that was that was pretty much it. Devin, everyone's been calling out Cambosis now. Website, he's... So. Yeah, on, on, on the WBC website, it shows that I'm the WBC lightweight champion. That's what it says. You know, the, the, it's in black and white. You know, we can all make our opinions. They can say what they want to say. But at the end of the day, the WBC do have uh, Mauricio has to answer to the board. Has to answer to the board of. Uh, uh, for the WBC, so you know he's just one opinion. Devin, just quickly, obviously everyone in his dog now is calling out Cambosis, or not many were calling out Tiafimo. You were one who was actively searching yeah. for the Tiafimo fight at the time. Um, what's your sort of message to the rest of the division who now want to jump on the Cambosis fight when they didn't want to jump on the Tiafimo? I mean, that's what they're supposed to do. They 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 they're supposed to you know want to make, make the best fights happen. I can't knock nobody for that. They should have been calling for Tio as well, um, but. It is what it is. Everybody has their own reasons why they want to fight Cambosos or whatever the case may be. Um, I want to fight Cambosos because he has the belts. When it was Tio that had the belts, I want to fight Tio. Now that it's Cambosos, I want to fight Cambosos. But all that starts with Saturday night, Jojo Diaz. We can never overlook him. Um, I feel like I'm at my best right now. And I don't want to, you know, drag this out about Cambosos or, or Tio or whatever the case may be because that's what Tio did. Tio talked about me more than he talked about Cambosos and look what happened. So, you know, I got to be 100% focused on Jojo Diaz. Um, and uh, I can't wait. Do you, know, you feel you like everything that, you, everything that you wanted to work on in this camp, did you cross all T's, dot all I's? Do you feel like in this camp, everything that you wanted to specify, everything that you wanted to focus on, that you got everything that you wanted to focus on? You yeah, know, so yeah, you feel no, like no. Everything is everything for this fight. Um, I feel so strong, like I said. Um, I can't stress it enough. I feel healthy, mentally, mentally physically. I'm on point. And uh, on Saturday night, I go in there to have fun, dominate, um, and uh, win. You know, you said you said yesterday, if he, the more angry he gets, the worse it gets for him. But if he, yeah, you know, he yeah. comes in, he comes in with this dog mentality, right? But we seen how that worked against uh, Tio. Tio went in there. He thought he was gonna knock Cambosos out. He ran at him, got clipped. Because it seems like that's what he's banking on is that he'll have more dog than you. Not more skills, but more you know, toughness. The more he comes in, the more that he feels like he's going to dog me, is the faster is the faster it's going to take for me to hit him with a good shot, knock him out, or he'll, he'll go into survival mode. One of the two, uh, that's how the fight's going to end, if end he, up. If he fighters and give the fans something fun when a fighter does that, what do you do if, if that's what happens? Round four or five, he starts to shut it down. If it happens, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have the answers for what, whatever whatever he brings to the table. Like I said, he can come in and he can can feel like you know he like he doesn't respect my power. If you don't respect my power, I'm I'm gonna make you respect it. At the end of the day, Lenari said the same thing. Was he running in there? No. Even 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 after he hurt me, he wasn't running in there. Why? It is what it is. Hey, Jeff, Sam, real quick question. Uh, you successful Saturday night against Jojo here. And I know you've been down this road before, but promise to fight. Uh, they're gonna step step in front, and they don't. If worst case scenario, they don't. Are you prepared to go up to 140? Yeah, yeah, I'm for sure prepared to go to 140 um, to make the biggest fights happen. But like I said, I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Right, you know, right, right. At, at the end of the day, the the, the the main fight to focus on right now is Jojo Diaz. Um, this is a, a big opportunity for Jojo Diaz. This is a huge step up fight for him. He can say what he want to say. He fought all these other guys in the past. Why is Devin Haney your biggest fight? Correct. Right. Is that? Can you can you guys agree that I am Jojo Diaz's biggest fight? Yeah. yeah. All right then. So this is the, this is this is the big stage. So he can say, "Oh, experience this and that." None of them fighters are are Devin Haney. I'm a total different animal, and that's why we're here fighting at the MGM. Um, and on the, on, on the biggest stage because of Devin Haney. Are you having more fun and more relaxed at this stage? Because for Lenaris fight week, you were very low spoke, very quiet. Uh, yeah. Cheeks were a little, a lot more drawn than yeah. they were now. So yeah. yeah. No, 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 yeah, for sure. Um, man, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm getting more experience with, with, you know, weight cutting, 
fight weeks, the, just the, just the, just the, the, the whole fight fight scene or whatever the case may be. You guys forget, I'm I'm I just turned 23 years old, so I'm still I'm still a Happy baby. Thank you, thank you. I'm still I'm still a baby in the game, so I'm still learning on the job, but I'm getting better and better. And where I'm at now, I'm better than the, than the the so-called top guys, and I'm only gonna get even better. Are you feeling like? As opposed to the heading into Lenar's fight, you could stick around at lightweight for a few more fights than you originally thought because of the weight cuts better. Um, I feel like with this fight, I feel like I can stick stick around with uh, uh, in, in the lightweight division more with the way that my weight is. This fight, the, it was tougher for the Lenar's fight, but this fight, uh, it's been way more like way more. I've been way more comfortable. What was the differences? Uh, what's crazy? Is I don't even know like what the difference really is. I just feel maybe because I don't know. I just. I don't know. I don't. I really can't tell you, but like it's like I don't know. And and I got told I grew like an inch since the Lenares fight, so I don't. I don't know how it's easier for me to make the weight. David, did you notice anything in the head to head just right? You talk about um, size. Like, it, 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 it was a little bit of size. No, no, it was it, it was a uh, it was a lot of bit of size. It was, it was a lot of bit of a size difference, but um, like I said, like I said, like I said oh, I'm bigger than him, so I'm gonna beat him. Or, yeah, anything. I will show in the ring my skills, my ring generalship, my ring intelligence, and gentlemen, he is um, all that will, will, will be the reason why. I will. Yeah, like I said earlier in the week, earlier in the week, dirty in there. Do you think he'll get dirty? Maybe get a warning from the ref. Um. I feel like yeah he will I feel like he will try to get dirty in there because he will be frustrated at the end of the day when I'm hitting you and you can't hit me and I and I hurt you you when you go into survive, to survival mode you'll do anything and um, that's what I see him going into is survival mode and why you know forget it if he doesn't get mad he keeps his he keeps his brain about him why does intelligent pressure not work against you, Dev? Even if you're cutting the ring off, take going to the trying to go to the body. Because I'm just different. I'm just different. Like you gotta bring bring more than some pressure or try some some dog to even have success against me. It didn't. It, even Linares, he did. He didn't. He he was smart. He he waited until I tried to pressure him. I started putting the pressure on him because I wanted to to get the stoppage. I seen him fading, so he had to. Set, set me up with a, with, a, with a punch that I didn't see. That, that, that It took intelligence for that. It wasn't just, oh yeah, I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna try to just dog him, I'm gonna try to knock him out, I'm just gonna do do that. Linares knew that wasn't gonna work. Do you think he's gonna come out, just, just come out just firing on, just trying to dog you, like he I said? Can't think, I can't think for him. I can't, right, I can't right. try to, to, to but think about you prepared about what, for it though? I can't try to think about what he's gonna do at the end right. of the day. I know what I'm gonna do, and I know he's not gonna be able to stop it. Devin, I see on the zone they compared you at this age and Mayweather at this age with the same record, 26 yeah. and 0, just your thoughts on that? Yeah, you know, he was 24, I was 23. So, by the time I'm 24, I should have like maybe like two more fights, or whatever the case may be. So, I'm gonna have a little bit more wins then, but he had more knockouts than me. And he did get that, that Chico Corrales signature at tw before 24, or at 24. You feel like by the time you're 24, you'll have that that Chico Corrales fight. Hopefully type. I have all the belts by then and I'll be undisputed by then. But we got to see, you know, uh, it all starts That would with, actually give you a chance to do something Floyd didn't do at that age, yeah. to be undisputed. Floyd never been undisputed, I don't think, has he? No, he, he won yeah, three so. out of four at welterweight. Yeah. Um, unified which, a couple times. But. Which, undisputed, uh, I mean, yeah. it, 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 it would never, you can't take away from it, all the things that Floyd has accomplished because he wasn't undisputed. You know, he's he was all -time linear great, all-time great. But, but you know, I, 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 after Saturday night, I will have the chance to. Hopefully, inshallah, we see. Do you think Cambosos is the greatest Australian boxer based off this win? Um, off the top of my head, yes, I think so, but I, I, can't, I can't really. Costa Zoo? Costa Zoo, he only had two belts. Judah had one, and it was only a unification. This yeah. is a guy taking three plus the ring from you, four belts. But they say Jeff Finch won three. Titles and yeah, yeah. It's definitely Jeff debatable. Yeah, it's, de yeah. it's definitely debatable. You know, you, 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 I don't know. I, I don't know too many Australian boxers off the top of my head. I'll have to think about it. But I mean, it's definitely debatable. If if, if they said it right now, I would say it. I would say yeah. yeah. Does he, he defend did. the titles or is he a one-hit wonder? Maybe defends him against Devin Haney. That's <laughs> different. That's different. But you know, um, I don't know. We just gotta see, man. Uh, I'm, I'm I like his performance he put on against um. Tio, he went in there. He, he was composed. He didn't get he didn't get too out of his game when Tio came out like just throwing wild shots, strong shots. Um, you know he showed a lot more experience, and you know he fought Mickey Bay, you know one of my coaches. So 
was a split decision. Yeah, it was it was it was a split decision. But you know, I think Chio was looking going into that fight looked kind of like like underestimate him because he saw. But people don't know how smart and how much experience Mickey Bay has. What's the how biggest you? difference between you, Gary Russell, and Tevin Palmer? Obviously, two common opponents with JoJo Diaz. Well, one. Off the top of my head, they're just much smaller than me. Gary Russell is much, much smaller. Tevin Farmer is smaller as well. Um, and on the rest, I'll show you on Saturday night. Just got to tune in. But y'all, y'all want to watch Montana Love work out? He's working out. <laughs> hey, hey, one no more question. About my boy back there, Amari Jones, at 154. What are you about to do at 154, man? Oh, Yo, man, he's going to take over the game. He's going to take over the game, I promise you. Um, y'all going to see, see a taste of it on Saturday night, but... Need a future for Did you like Cool Boy um, over the weekend? Cool oh boy yeah, that's my boy. I've been knowing Steph for so long. Um, I'm so happy for him. Uh, he worked hard for it, and uh, he got the win. He, and, and it was a good fight. Nice.